Alright folks, this is Pitching Ace 88 We are back playing a new game on the GameCube. Yes, the GameCube. I do have that console, and there are a few gems on there. This one, reading the back of the case, it says the epic battle for survival. In a dying world, legend has it that a chosen one will one day ri rise from amongst the people, and the land will be reborn. The line between good and evil blurs in this epic adventure where the fate of two interlocked worlds hang in the balance. So, this is, it says it's going to be an epic uh, adventure over 80 hours of gameplay, which I highly doubt that it's going to be 80 hours, but it's still a very long game. Uh, nonetheless, this is Tales of Symphonia. This is a game that was released for the Nintendo GameCube uh, August 29, 2003 in Japan and in America July 13, 2004. Uh, it follows uh, this guy named Lloyd. Uh, he's, a, he's the main character. Uh, and his companies are the Chosen One, Colette. He also gets, I believe, Genus and Rain and Kratos. There's some crazy people that come along with this journey. Basically, there's this mana tree that, I don't know, it's weird Japanese logic, but basically, it's a great story. I beat in the game, I loved it, thought it was tons of fun. Uh, there are two discs in this game, so you know it's got to be pretty good. Uh, and I personally prefer stuff like this to Final Fantasy, so this is my, this is what I like in terms of Japanese gameplay. It's actually the fifth uh, title in the Tales RPG series, um, and it was, but it was only the third game to be released in the U.S., and it was the first to be released in Europe. Um, so, and it sold almost a million copies. So that's our main character Lloyd. There, he's pretty cool. There's actually, I believe, in 2007. Uh, Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World for the Wii was released. So, th it's definitely a, a series. I haven't played any of the other games. I've just basically played this game. And I, and I find it so much fun. Uh, the combat in it is really good. Uh, in my opinion. Um, we're going to start a new game here. Uh, this is it, Tales of Symphonia. Let's see, it was in Namco 2003 by Kosuke Fukushima. That guy sounds really familiar. Uh, you guys will probably know who that guy is. I think he's... God, F Fukushima. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, he seems very familiar. Um, I have not actually played... I don't have a save file on this, so we're just going to get going. Unique aspect about the game is that... Oh, yeah, we do want to actually change them, too. Um, the skits contain a variety of fun conversations between the characters. Let's do them display on. Uh, Semi-auto. Yeah, we'll do semi-auto. Rumble feature on, stereo, alright. Once upon a time, there existed a giant tree that was the source of mana. A war, however, caused this tree to wither away, and a hero's life was sacrificed in order to take its place. Grieving over the loss, the goddess disappeared unto the heavens. The goddess left the angels with this edict. You must wake me, for if I should sleep, the world shall be destroyed. The angels bore the chosen one, who headed towards the tower that reached up to the heavens, and that marked the beginning of the regeneration of the world. All right, this game is pretty interesting. In the fact that Lloyd Irving, wake okay, up! That they talk through half of it, but the other half it doesn't talk. So I'll be trying to voice as best I can through the parts that you don't that the game doesn't sound off. Um, 
I'm guessing if this was re-released on maybe a uh, other console, they could have done that, but I don't believe the GameCube could have handled all that talking uh, that's in this really long game. But anyways, let's press, let's continue. Let's try and wake up. Lloyd. Oh, that hurts. Ah. How do you manage to sleep standing? Oh, Professor Rain, it, is class over? <sighs> Never mind. Let's have someone else answer the question. Genus, how about you? Yes, Rain. Okay, now Genus is like the genius uh, of this. He's a smart. He's a smart little kid. Uh, teacher's pet. Uh, teacher's sister, and or brother. Te teacher's brother, and so he, I believe he's the magician in our group. Mythos, the hero brought about the end of the ancient war in the holy ground of Carlon. Correct. Afterwards, Mythos the hero formed a pact with the goddess Martell to seal away the Desions whom caused the war. But the Desions came back and are now causing everyone to suffer. We covered that in class last time, remember? When the seal weakens, the Desions reappear, just like they have now. I... Uh, yeah, I knew that. I, I just forgot. I'm holding buckets. I'm guessing that's because I'm in trouble. Today is the day of prophecy. It is a very important day, which the Chosen of Mana will receive an oracle from the goddess Martell. Now Chosen One, Colette. Ah, uh, there's Colette. Hottie. Yes, ma'am? Tell us about the journey of world regeneration. It is a journey to seal the Desions. Upon passing the trials of the goddess Martell, the summoned spirits that protect the world awaken, and mana is restored. Correct. I suppose we should expect the Chosen herself to know the answer to that one. Mana depletion is the cause of the current food shortages and droughts. It is said that this occurs because the Desions consume vast amounts of mana in their human ranches. The Chosen's journey has two purposes, to revive mana, as well as defeat the Desions. Now, for the next question. Uh, what was that? That's... Settle down. It would seem that the time for the Oracle has come. I will go and check on the chapel. Everyone stay here and study on your own. Understood? Professor! I'll go with you. No, Colette. If it is the Oracle, the priests will come here for you. Wait here with everyone else. Yes, ma'am. Alright, so we control Lloyd. We can talk to anyone we really want to. Um, but they don't really give us anything. Is the temple of that building north of the village? Okay, so basically it's north of the village. Let's, let's examine this hole, though, in the wall first. When did this hole get here? Okay, we're going to have to examine that once we get some people in our party. Let's try and leave. Lloyd, where are you going? Don't tell me you're sneaking out. Rain will get mad. I'm really curious to find out what really happens to Colette when she receives the Oracle. They always talk about the Chosen of Regeneration and the Day of Prophecy, but no one tells us what really happens. But my sister said to stay and study by ourselves. But it's research. Arr, that's just an excuse. So, an excuse is an excuse, right? Don't be so stuffy. You're coming too, right? We're best friends after all. Colette, want to come along too? Huh? Mm, okay. So, where to? Uh, where else? That light, you're directly involved in all this. 
Aren't you curious? Hmm. Are you curious about it? Of course. Okay, then I'll be curious about it too. See, Dwarven Vow number four. Don't depend on others. Walk on your own two legs. Okay, then let's go to the temple. <laughs> Not the Dwarven Vows again. You always use those when you need an excuse. 